So why is it that you guys are so infatuated with fire? It seems like every time we do an experiment, your comment is more fire. We need, well, if truth be told, I'm infatuated with fire as well. And this is the uh, kind of episode where most shows would say, don't try anything at home. And, and that's kind of the problem. This is what we want you to be able to try. So uh, a couple of things said, you're going to be using flammable materials. There's a couple of things that you need. First of all, safety glasses. And uh, secondly, you need a fire extinguisher. If you don't have those two, you can't do this at home. And third, if you're a kid, you've got to have adult supervision. If you're uh, an adult who is careless, you need to have a better adult to give you better adult supervision. Make sense? I think you're going to like this. Watch. So here are the things we need. We need some isopropyl alcohol. This is just rubbing alcohol, 70%. Uh, something to mix it in. Uh, water just in case we get into trouble. Some tongs and, of course, the lighter. So here's what happens. Let's start with the rubbing alcohol. And now we need something that will catch on fire. Ah, this is perfect. Lunch money. I don't know even lunch that could you could buy using a dollar, but a long time ago, this, I guess, was your lunch money. All right, so this goes down, and you always borrow this. This is where we say, don't try this at home, try it at a friend's home, right? Well, you always use a friend's bill as well. So you say, can I please borrow some money? And they, of course, will only give you a dollar. It's a hundred times better if you could get a hundred dollar bill, but good luck. So this dips down inside. This is our flammable material here. Okay, you ready? Watch this. This is off to the side like this. And now let's light it and see what happens. Uh, it's a nice flame, looks good, and ah, perfect. It's out. Well, there was a little bit of trickery. Uh, although uh, we used all the materials that you see on the table, if you had done it exactly the way I just showed you, there would have been a problem. And I'll show you what that looks like. We actually used a real dollar bill, but this solution here isn't actually just 70% rubbing alcohol. Let me show you what happened if you would have used real rubbing alcohol in its full strength. Now we pull it out of the way so that nothing else catches on fire. Watch what happens with pure rubbing alcohol. It burns and it burns and then it continues to burn and it burns and you'll notice that it continues to burn. And well, this is a problem because now you've destroyed money and you might think that there's gonna be another problem on top of that. Come to find out, uh, the way the law reads, you can destroy money and not go to jail. You just can't destroy money and try to pass it. That's counterfeit, right? And I can think you can see there's just no possible way that I think you can probably pass that. You know, as a kid, you'd take a penny and you'd go to the circus and, 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 or that place and you'd put it in that machine and crank it and it would, it would flatten the penny and put a logo on there or you just got a name or your birthday or whatever it is. That is... Uh, Kind of the same thing that we're doing here. It's destroying the penny, uh, but by law, uh, that's okay to do because you'd never take that penny and then try to pass it again. Same thing here, we're not trying to pass it. The whole goal is that you're not lighting the bill on fire at all. I just wanted you to see what would happen if you really had done it the way I told you. Here's the secret. First of all, 70% uh, rubbing alcohol, isopropyl alcohol, means that there's seven parts of the isopropyl alcohol to three parts water, right? So there's already water in this mixture, and at the very beginning I said, this is everything that you'll need. The secret was sitting in front of you the entire time, and it was actually right here. It's the water that's in this pitcher. What we want is we want to add more water to the isopropyl alcohol so that what happens is that we burn off that fuel, but by the time the fuel burns off, the evaporating water that has coated the uh, dollar bill as well begins to evaporate, and as it begins to evaporate, it cools the bill down. So here's the mixture that you're gonna need. This all varies, uh, so you're gonna have to experiment a little bit, and uh, you can exper I think you can do the dollar to experiment. Here's 70% uh, rubbing alcohol, and we're gonna add, uh, I'm gonna put about 300 milliliters, I'm gonna add about 200 milliliters, which again is going to be about three quarters of a cup, if you're doing it that way, of water, and there's your mixture. It looks just like uh, rubbing alcohol, and that entire mixture got put back into the bottle. So I had to dump that last little part out and put it back into the bottle so that you didn't know that I had done anything to it. There is a little secret. If you use this mixture right here, um, it's gonna burn awfully blue, so you need some salt. And if you put some salt inside, the sodium from the salt will help kind of color it yellow. The salt dissolves with no problem at all. Good. And now I'm just gonna stir it up. All right, now our special watered down mixture goes back into the container. That's perfect. And now we're ready to go. 
This is the setup. This looks awfully sciencey, so you could separate or uh, substitute a bowl. That'll be perfect. You need a friend's dollar bill. Friend, got a dollar bill. That's perfect. And now you're ready to go. All right. So now we put the mixture out. Again, we're telling him that, look, it's just rubbing alcohol, but you know that it's uh, a mixture of rubbing alcohol and water. And now here's the cool thing. When you take this, the secret is you've got to completely soak the dollar bill. If you don't soak the dollar bill, then it's easy for it to catch on fire. So just make sure it's completely soaked. Move this container off to the side. And now we're simply going to light this on fire. What's going to burn instead of the dollar bill is the fuel. Look at that nice yellow kind of look there. And it's perfectly fine. Now, if you're trying this and you see that it starts to burn, just shake it for a second and it will, uh, it will come out. And you may have to tweak the, uh, the formula just a little tiny bit, but your dollar bill is back. You can't tell this, but right now it's cool to the touch. So anybody who touches it will be amazed that it feels cold. It was just on fire, but it's cold. And of course, that adds to the secret uh, and, and kind of gives away that part of it, that it's the evaporating water that kind of keeps this safe. All right, so this is the true test of your solution. If it really is going to work, this makes you a little bit nervous. All right, so there's the $100 bill. This goes down inside like this. I'm going to make sure that every little piece of this is completely soaked. If you paid your dues in the local science club, uh, you've done well, move this out of the way. Hopefully, everything will be just fine. Watch. There it burns, it's looking good, it's looking good. And bam, it's there. Look at this. There is my good $100 bill. I know what you're thinking. Uh, let's say you're watching us from another country and you're thinking, well, does it work with my money? I, we have this huge following in the UK. So you just use your UK, your pounds. Do we have any pounds? This is a pound. Got it? Let's see if it works. This goes down into the water like this. I've never tried this before, so this will be interesting. Okay, you ready? This is really thin and flimsy. Your money is going to be much better than this. Let's just see if this, uh, if this is okay, watch. That's looking pretty good, and that's truly amazing. Look at that, with just notebook paper, it's still perfectly fine. That's pretty cool. All right, so you wanna try this and you don't wanna use paper, right? And you might say, I'm not using my money, although that is the best way to do it. You can do it the original way that I learned how to do it, uh, using a man's handkerchief. I know you don't use these today, but just head to the local department store. You can find a piece of cloth or a man's handkerchief. We just need to have ceilings that are higher than what you see here. Otherwise, it's going to be a much more exciting science experiment than I'd ever want. Let's go to bigger and higher ceilings. Taller ceilings, safety glasses. We're going to use the man's handkerchief. And we need a fire extinguisher, so make sure that you have a fire. Bo, you got a fire extinguisher? Okay, here's your job. Stand close by. You hang out of this. If anything bad happens and I start to catch on fire, Take me off. You pull the pin and go for it, okay? Don't get overactive. I'm not catching on fire. Just stay there, all right? See this? So excited to maybe get to pull the fire extinguisher. Okay, here we go. You ready? So here is the cloth. Now this one here, you really got to work on kind of getting it, um, getting it nice and wet, okay? Nice and wet. And now you're going to take this out, and we're going to wring it out. The other thing I can tell you is that you want to make sure that your hands now are not wet. So now dry your hands off. <laughs> okay, perfect. Now my hands are completely dry. All right, move this out of the way. It's time for fire. Hopefully the water will keep it nice and, uh, and safe. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, this is looking good. So here it is. Now this is a pretty good flame. You definitely don't want to do this uh, in your house. This is outside. Here's the flame. <sighs> Look at that. Is that awesome? Look, to the touch, it's fine. It's not singed. Ta-da. Take your bow. The secret is water. It keeps the material from catching on fire. And whether you're doing it with a dollar bill or you're doing it with a handkerchief, the secret is trapping water close to the surface because the evaporation of that water is, uh, produces this cooling effect. Water is this great uh, conductor of heat. And we're not just messing around with this. It's actually being used as a firefighting technique. They're finding ways to be able to take water, make it sticky, so to speak, and to put it on a structure like a building and try to keep it from burning. And believe it or not, you might have played with it as a toy. The toy is called 
Gravagoo. It's actually a powder that you can see inside. It's really a very, very high molecular weight polymer. Polymer just being a long chain of molecules. Look, we haven't used much there at all. You can see that little bit sitting in the bottom. Let me add the water. And now you just keep on pouring it back and forth. This super absorbent polymer will literally pull itself out of the beaker like a self-siphoning gel. So here's the batch that I made previously. This is probably four or five of these batches. And now let me get my hands inside so we can kind of play with it and you can see what it looks like. It's extremely sticky and it's almost completely made of water. Here's the test. Uh, nothing terribly scientific, but here's our board. And uh, let's take some of this polymer and the water and put it on the board like this. Perfect. And now we just test it with the fire. Watch the side of the board without the polymer. Watch. It doesn't take long at all for that to start on fire. Watch this over here. See, it's the heat absorbing properties of the water that are keeping the board safe. Now eventually it'll catch on fire because it'll burn all the way through, but it definitely is better than no water at all to be able to help mitigate any of the damage. Am I saying that this toy right here is going to save a burning structure? No, but I think the science is very, very solid. If you can get water close to the structure and allow the heat from the fire to be able to cause the water to evaporate, it only makes sense that you're gonna buy time for firefighters as they try to, um, to save the property. Who would have thought that the science of toys could help um, possibly save a burning structure? Well, if you enjoyed this week's episode, go ahead and click the subscribe button here. You'll be the first to know when a brand new episode appears each week. Uh, this button right here will show you some more cool science experiments that we do outside of this show. This button right here will take you to last week's episode just in case you missed it. And if you want to see the stuff that you shouldn't see, that's the uh, bloopers and the outtakes, well, just click this one right over here. And if you want to hear me stop talking through the magic of television, just click this button right here. Go ahead, click it, and I'll stop.